Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to create this magic hat. Let's dive right in. Okay, let's start off by creating the hat. So press Shift A, Mesh, and we'll add a circle. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode, and then press E and left click to confirm. And then with S, we'll scale it up. Press Tab to leave Edit Mode. Go to your Modifiers tab and add a simple deform. And then click on the icon here to open the drop down menu and click Apply. We'll go back into edit mode, we'll go into edge select by pressing 2 or the icon here. And then we'll select our middle edge. And then we'll press E and Z and we'll extrude it down. And then with S we'll scale it up. And then press S and Z 0 to even it out. Press F to fill the bottom up. And then we can press A to select all, Alt E and F to extrude faces along normals. And we'll extrude it like that. Go to your modifiers and we'll add a bevel. We can change the segments to 4. And we'll change our amount to 0.04. And then with Control 2 we can add a subdivision modifier. Right click and shade auto smooth. And then we'll go into edit mode. Select this inside loop once again. And we'll scale it up a tiny bit. There. That looks great. Go back into edit mode. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut, right click to confirm, press S, Z, 0 to scale, to, to balance it out, and then press Ctrl B to bevel it, and then, yeah, that looks nice, so then we'll press Shift D, Enter, and then we can press P, and we'll separate it by selection. Leave edit mode, and now we'll select this, this band, press Tab to go into edit mode, and then we'll press a to select all, Alt, E, F, and we'll extrude it along normals, and then we can leave edit mode, and then maybe we'll scale it down a tiny bit. There, and that's our hat. Perfect. Press Shift A and add a cube. Press G and X to move it to the side a bit. Press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier, and then we'll apply it. Press tab to go into edit mode, press 1 on your numpad or tilde key to open your view menu and go into a front view. Then we'll press a Z and we'll toggle X-ray. Press 1 to go into vert select and then we'll select these side verts and press X and V to delete them. Now we can toggle X-ray again by pressing Z and toggling the menu. We'll press A, S and Z and we'll scale up the air. Press O to activate proportional editing and then we'll select these bottom words and then press S and Y. And with your scroll wheel you can change the size of your proportional editing. And we'll just scale that down just a tiny bit. Okay, then we'll go to our modifiers and we'll add a solidify modifier. And we'll change the thickness just a tiny bit. Maybe to minus oh. 0.2 press ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier right click to shade auto smooth and i think we can make this even better minus 0.28 looks pretty sweet then we can apply our solidify modifier go into edit mode and we'll press ctrl r and we'll add a loop cut right there and that looks like a pretty cute ear to me so we'll go back into front view and then we'll press RZ90 minus to rotate it and then we'll place it in the hat and we'll scale it down a bit in edit mode. You can press O to deactivate proportional editing again. We'll scale it down just a tiny bit and then we'll place that one there and then with Alt D we'll make a linked duplicate rotate it and then we can rotate them with r and z a tiny bit there and then rotate them like that and then we'll try and place them nicely into our hat if we go into front view again we can scale them down move them closer to each other and then from top view we get a very clear view of how it looks like there yeah i think that looks great and then we'll add our camera press shift a and then add a camera 
Press G and Y to move it back. I press zero on your numpad to go into camera view or go through your view menu. And then press G set twice, move it back a tiny bit. We'll go to our output settings and we'll change our resolution to 1920 by 1920. And then now we can select our whole object, press R twice and rotate it just a tiny bit. And then I think I want to just make them bigger and move them up a tiny bit. There we go. And then move it nice to the center. Press Shift A, mash and add a plane. RX90 to rotate it. And then we'll press G and Y to move it back. Tap to go into edit mode and scale it up. So it covers our camera view. Now we'll go into our render settings. We'll change our engine to cycles, device to GPU compute, viewport sampling, maybe to 128 and our render samples could go to 512. We'll instantly also go to color management and we'll change our look to a medium high contrast. Now we'll press Z and we'll go into rendered view. So now we'll do our lighting. So press period and change your pivot point to 3D cursor. Press shift A, light and add an area light. Press G and Z to move it up. And then we'll press RX 70 to move it back. 70 minus there. So it's behind. Go into your light settings and then we'll change the size to three and we'll change the shape to disc. And we'll change the power to maybe a thousand to start off with. Have it like a really strong backlight and maybe we can scale it up a tiny bit. We'll change the size to five. And then G and Z to move it up just a bit. There, that's a good start. Then we'll press Shift A and we'll add another area light, G and Z to move it up. RX 45 and then RZ 60 and minus and RX twice and we can maybe aim it a tiny bit more from the side. We'll change our size to three, we'll change our shape to disc and then we'll start off with a power of 300. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, select the light that is uh, shining from the left. Press Shift D, R, Z, 120 to make a duplicate and rotate it. Press R and then X twice, and then we'll aim it a tiny bit more from the bottom. And then we can maybe decrease the power to 250 to make it a tiny bit weaker. There we go. Okay, now we'll add a light in our background as well. So add another area light. Press R, X, 90 to rotate it, and G and Y move it towards your background. Then we'll change the shape to disc and our size to three. And we'll make up our 400. Maybe that's good to start off. We'll change it to 500. There, and that's uh, the beginning of our lighting. We might change this later, but for now it looks pretty good. So now we'll add our coloring. So we'll select our background and we'll add a background material. And then we'll change our base color to 8A6BE0. Then we'll add our hat color. So select the hat, add a new material. We'll call it hat. And then our base color is going to be 2728.80. And we'll want to decrease the roughness to 0.35. Now we'll add a nice pink color on the band. So select the band, add a new material. We'll call it band. And then our base color is going to be E75A83 and also a roughness of 0.35. And then we'll do our ears. So select one of the ears and it's easier if we start with the inside of the ear. So we'll add the pink. So add a new material, we'll call it pink. We'll go into our shading editor here in the tab here in the top. Press set and go into rendered view here as well and go into your view camera. And then here we're going to add some magic. So while you have your ear selected, press shift A, search and add a ambient occlusion. And then press shift A and add a color ramp. And then we'll connect the color to the color ramp and then the color ramp to our base color. And then we can move our black one tiny bit to the side maybe 0.25 is a good uh, point to start with and we'll change the left color to 632354 and then our light color is going to be ffb5f9 there that looks great 
Okay, we'll go back into our layout, press tab, go into edit mode, and then now we'll select our faces here. So uh, if we go into a view and we'll go into local view and we'll toggle local view, and then we can just select these edge, these faces. Perfect. And then we'll go to select, select more, less, select more. And press shift R, shift R, shift R until the whole outside of the ear is selected. So you can add a new material slot right there. And then we'll add a new material and we'll click assign. And then now we can go back to view local view and we'll toggle our logo view again and we'll go into our camera view we uh, want to change the color of our new material to CFCFCF and then maybe we'll decrease our roughness to 0.35 and I think the same goes for the pink we also need to decrease that roughness there that looks great now we'll add our world color so go to the world tab select color and then the world color is going to be c368cb i do think i'm gonna play around a bit more with my lighting so i'm gonna change the power of this one to 800 and i'm going to change the color to a slight orangey yellow color um the hex code is ffd and 9bb and then this one i'm going to change our power to 600 and then i'm going to change our color to maybe a nice pink yeah that looks pretty nice ff72ee and then our backlight is going to have a power of 2000 maybe make it really light and then we'll change our backlight color as well to b599c9 and then I also want to change the power of our backlight. I will make that like 2000. Make the piece a bit more lighter. There we go. Thanks for joining me. If you have questions or requests, drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to see your results. So tag me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.